In this problem, we're told if it requires five joules of work to stretch a particular spring by two centimeters from its equilibrium length, how much more work will be required to stretch it an additional four centimeters? So in this problem, there's a bunch of things you need to understand, but let's go ahead and start off with the first thing. So the first thing you need to know is the elastic potential formula uh, for a spring like this. So basically the formula is work equals one half kx squared, where k is the spring constant, work is like how much energy it takes to stretch the spring, and then x is the distance we're moving it. So the way I want you to think about this problem is, right, so imagine we have a spring like this here, and we're going to be stretching it, right? So this is our spring here, we're going to be stretching it. So we know that if we stretch it from its equilibrium point, two centimeters, so let's say this is its equilibrium point, right? Let's say like this, this is its equilibrium point. If we stretch it two centimeters to here, it's going to take five joules of work. And so we're trying to find how much it takes to stretch it four more. So going four more centimeters, right? How much energy is it going to take from here, right? So how are we going to do that? So the way we're going to do that is by finding um, the energy it takes to stretch it a six centimeters from it. And then if we subtract how much it takes to do two, that's going to give us how much uh, energy, right? It's going to take us to, um, or how much work is going to be needed in order to stretch it this like four centimeters. So how do we do that? So as I said, first, we got to find this. How much is going to take it to stretch it six? So W equals one half kx squared. So we know uh, x is just going to be six centimeters, right? Because we're finding it here, but we don't know k. And so the way we find k is by finding it in the two. So we're going to get it by using the numbers from stretching it two. Since W equals one half kx squared, we know the amount of work is five joules. Five joules to stretch it two centimeters. So we can solve for the k. We're going to plug the k back in, and that's how we're going to solve it. So k times x. So two centimeters, right? That's just 0 0.02 meters, right? So I'm going to convert everything to standard units. So 0 0.02 meters, you should know how to convert centimeters by now. Um, but yeah, so multiply both sides by two. You're going to get 10 equals k times 0 0.02 squared. And then you can divide, right? I'm not going to do that, but just divide it. 10 divided by 0 0.02 squared. You're going to get 25,000. So now we have the constant, and we can just plug it in to find how much work it's going to take to stretch it, the 6. And then we're going to subtract it from the initial value, which was 5. And that's going to give us how much it takes to do this for. So um, we're going to get 1 half times k, which we found was 25,000, because it's the same spring, so they have the same spring constant, uh, times x, which is 0 0.06 squared. So, right, because 2 plus 4 is 6, that's how we're getting this. So, so multiply this out, and you're going to get that it equals 45 joules. So now we know to stretch it 6 centimeters is 45 joules, to stretch it 2 centimeters is five joules. So if we want to find how long, it, how much work it takes to stretch this four, right, which is them between each other, you just subtract. So 45 minus five is 40. So 40 joules. So that's basically going to be how much additional work is going to be needed in order to stretch it this extra distance. So you just found how much at the end, and then how much at basically this value you knew to solve for the k, and yeah. So uh, this right here is going to be your answer, 40 joules, and hopefully you found this useful.